Now, this must be, this might be one of the last Holocaust trials to take place in Germany. 96-year-old Imgard Furchner was due to appear in a court near Hamburg today to stand trial for complicity in murder in more than 10,000 cases during the Second World War. She is accused of abetting the killing of inmates while working in an administrative role at the Stutthof concentration camp in Poland. But the proceedings took an odd twist when the elderly Furchner apparently made a run for it instead of appearing in court and was later tracked to a nearby bus station. Here's what the lawyer representing the victims in the case had to say. To me, this is not entirely surprising because we were aware of a letter she wrote to the court less than three weeks ago. In that letter she said that she would boycott the proceedings, so to speak, and that she would not participate in him, she wrote that it would be degrading if she participated. From this letter one could conclude that it will not be easy with her. Well, for more, let's go to our Germany correspondent, Paulina Garayev in Berlin. And Paulina, uh, already an unusual case, I guess, given the age of the defendant. Uh, it certainly took a very strange twist today. Tell us about what happened and the reaction there in Germany. Indeed, this was uh, quite an unexpected uh, twist to what was uh, uh, what the plans was uh, the first day of the highly anticipated trial, as you mentioned, perhaps one of the last times that we see uh, a former Nazi uh, guard or part of the Nazi machine at, uh, stand trial. And it was quite unexpected when the spokesperson for the courts addressed the media that already gathered in the industrial park that was converted into a courthouse because of the Intense media attention addressed the media and said that the woman was on the run. Uh, the first time, I have to say, since uh, uh, in recent years when these uh, uh, trials took place, we've never seen this happen before. Uh, what we know from uh, what was released, at least to the media, is that the woman who was staying at an elderly care facility uh, ordered a cab this morning, asked to be taken to um, an underground station nearby, and her whereabouts was unknown for a couple of hours. A warrant was uh, issued for her arrest and she was later found. She's currently being evaluated. Her health condition is being evaluated to determine whether or not she can be imprisoned until her trial begins. Now it's already on October 19th. The proceedings had to be postponed uh, because of this. And you asked about the reactions. Indeed, there is a lot of outrage because of these, uh, um, these, these developments, of, particularly from, uh, of course, Holocaust organizations preserving the, the memory of the Holocaust, they think that this is outrageous, that this, first of all, that the flight itself could, would have, was possible, that the facility was not under guard, despite, as was mentioned before, uh, that the woman expressed some contempt towards the proceedings, asking that they would be held without her present, which is, of course, impossible in Germany. We also heard from the representatives of the co-plaintiffs, often um, uh, descendants of the victims themselves, uh, say that this is, again, as shows the audacity of the of the defendant and the complete dis the contempt that they have for these proceedings proceedings that of course Germany holds in high regard as part of its uh, attempts to deal with its past and make sure that also the future generations remember what has happened especially since survivors are sadly dying out right and uh, briefly you know one of the arguments against uh, prosecuting uh, these remaining uh, accused war criminals is their elderly condition, but here is a woman who was in good enough condition to try to escape uh, from her justice. I mean, that answers, I guess, that objection. Uh, indeed. I mean, a lot of the, the problem with these cases is that they very rarely see an actual end and end with a conviction. Many times that uh, the courts uh, deem that the trial is unable to proceed because of the health condition of the uh, defendants. And in this case, she is standing before a juvenile court because of her age when uh, the crimes took place, meaning that even if she is convicted, she could simply face a suspended sentence of a couple of years, as already happened before in the case of a guard also in the Stutthof uh, camp uh, who was convicted in July of last year was sentenced to simply two years a suspended sentence uh, after a very lengthy trial. Um, of course, this does offer some closure uh, to the victims. Also, again, preserving the memory um, of the Holocaust and right. making sure that the pursuit of justice never ends.